Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. Today I'm taking a look at a browser-based MMORPG that is called Radix in Davier. Um, a funny name, but this is what makes this game special. It's actually advertised as an MMORPG game. And if you don't know what that means, it basically means the massive multiplayer online role-playing game, which is a pretty popular genre nowadays. And uh, but it's it's supposed to be for teachers and for students, and it's basically all science and math. It's supposed to make science and math a lot more fun and a lot more accessible to students. And basically, you have two types of accounts: a player account, teacher account, and there's resources here. And you know, there's a bunch of uh, really cool uh, organizations that are mentioned on the bottom, including MIT and uh, uh, the Gates Foundation. So I kind of got excited. I wanted to really try to see what it's like, see if it's fun. And the music you hear in the background is actually from the game. Uh, so you can basically easily register an account. The game is absolutely free to play. And when you log in, you get to create a character. And this is this is me. This is you. This is us. So I'm gonna try to make the screen a little bit bigger so you get to see everything here. Uh, since this is a browser game, basically you play it entirely through your browser. Uh, the screen is a little bit too big. I'm gonna try to make it smaller. Anyway, so basically how this works is you walk around just like this, and uh, this is controlled with your mouse, and you have these quests you have to complete. Basically, Mindy here wants something from me. Oh, you there, welcome. You're new to this island of Isola, aren't you? And so on and so forth. So she starts talking to me, she gives me a quest, and my, one of my quests is... Uh, in the beginning at least, it's to learn how the game works. Now the game works pretty simply, basically you, uh, all of the objects here you can interact with, all of the creatures and animals, wait, where's the creature, where's the creature, where's the creature? There it is. So all of these creatures you can interact with as well, but unlike other MMORPGs that are usually meant for um, basically murdering everything and killing everything and making experience and money that way, here you do a lot of scientific stuff to like collecting and studying and analyzing um, to basically acquire that experience and complete quests. Now I'm going to complete a few quests right now and just just to show you what it, what it's like. I've already played this a little bit with my um, other character just to see what the game was like. Um, and basically, yeah, you, you go through these quests. There's a storyline here. You're trying to basically save this planet or save this world uh, by studying various things and by trying to figure out what's going on, what's wrong with the planet how to basically um, make it stop from uh, destroying itself or something something of that sort. Basically, there's a bit of hint on, you know, global warming and other struggles our planet is going through as well. Uh, so this is this person here is teaching me things that I'm not actually reading because I've read them already, but basically this is a tutorial that introduces you to various things. Um, I think one of my first quests is actually quite interesting. There was one quest that was called Pooping for biology. I wonder if this is the quest I have right now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Before I, I go on. So there are two skills in this game, uh, reputation skills. One is based on mathematics and one is based on biology. And as you actually uh, complete certain tasks and as you do things, you acquire points in these skills and become more strong, more powerful. This is uh, very similar to other MMORPG games where usually this would be like things like strength and um, dexterity. And at the same time, this would be... Uh, uh, also a variety of other skills you can use in the game. Uh, this is the library, I have nothing there yet, but as you learn and acquire new things, you learn um, things about them. There's also the mail service, because this is an uh, online game, so you can actually compose messages to other people and write to other people. Um, now, the game is actually relatively simple, but um, it's also very, very complex in its, um, in its actual... Uh, approach. I think there's a lot of things going on here, there's a lot of science, a lot of math behind it. Now, the, the real question is, is it fun? Well, let's find out. Let's, let me just start playing and we'll find out if it's actually fun, because right now, the graphic graphics are pretty simple, the music is pretty simple, there's nothing um, super amazing about it, um, at least compared to other games. There are other browser games currently out, out there that are MMORPGs and that are a lot, a lot better looking and quite a lot more interesting, I would say, but let's see if this is actually fun to use for class. As you can see, the loading times are pretty fast as well, and since this is entirely from your browser, you can basically play this on any computer, including um, a Chromebook. You can t totally play this on a Chromebook on a really slow, very, uh, uh, very cheap computer. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. I think there was a quest here, but I don't have that yet. This is some sort of a... What is this place? Contagious? You're not contagious. 
I don't feel so good. I hope I'm not contagious. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's part of the storyline where basically people are getting sick. All right, let's just keep going with our quest. And I think my quest is to go talk to this guy right here. But just before I do that, let me show you something else that this game has. There's actually a lot of side missions here that kind of are meant to teach you a little bit of math and science. I think there was one right here. Where was it? Now, right here, there's a, something called Triangle Template, and this is essentially one of the tools that teaches you math. Uh, as you collect various items, you can then drag and drop them here and create various types of triangles. So essentially, this is a tool to teach you a little bit of geometry within the game. Um, and the, the game is full of these little uh, tidbits, basically a lot of other things that are teaching you various um, mathematical and biological concepts. I think what, my next mission will be to actually analyze droppings from different animals. That's why the quest will be actually called Pooping, Pooping for Biology. I think it's from this guy right here. And he's going to ask me to analyze droppings and I have to try to figure out what's wrong with the animals. Um, so let's actually take that quest and try to complete it. All right, quest accepted, pooping for science. So I believe he gives me a tool that I need to use. Uh, let's just check it out. And there's quite a lot of quests I already have. Uh, but, okay, this one here, no, 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 Use your tools. And the tools that I have available to me are right here. So I need to use a critter catcher and possibly a stool tool. And there's a lot of other tools you can use. So there's population survey, there's timeline, there's food web kit. Uh, trade decoder, and measurement tool, and all of these are used for various biological tasks within the game as you progress through it. So basically, these are, this is like a virtual lab where you combine various topics all in one game. Um, so let's go in. I think I, I have to catch uh, an animal first. He's asking me to catch someone or something and then to analyze its poop as well. Uh, a lot of these animals will actually leave droppings and you'll see them on, on the ground sometimes. Not these guys, I guess, but uh, when you have to go, you have to go, right? So uh, you you basically collect various things that you find in the game and, and then process them, use, uh, use them for science and try to complete various experiments uh, using those items. I forget what I have to catch. He's asking me to catch a uh, snout. Now, the cool thing is that all of the animals here are basically made up. So you actually have to scientifically approach how you're going to find out what these animals are. And... I forgot how to do that. I think I just, do I can just catch it? I just catch it like this? Totally forgot how to do this. I should have read uh, the instructions. There we go. Is that it? Are you a gyp snout? No, you're not. You're Menji. Are you a gyp snout? No, you're flying Mimsy. Okay. Where is that thing I'm looking for? Are you? No, you're the same thing. Um, all right. I'm going to go find that animal I have to catch and continue the quest. Oh, you're Gyps now. All right, so I got him. Uh, I believe this is this kind of oh, this kind of completes my quest. Is that all I have to do? And there's a drop in right here. Okay, so I, I just have to pick it up. And okay, uh, and right right now it actually tells me to pick it up, but I can analyze it right away. It says found in stool an un unidentified bits. So right here I can actually take my uh, check my field notes and see what was found in the thingamajig, in the poop. And in my notebook, it now says that food eaten unidentified. So we don't really know what it eats, but uh, one of your quests is actually to discover what these animals are eating and why they're getting sick. So there's a lot of biological kind of, uh, oh, there's a lot of poop now suddenly. There's a lot of biological approach to this game, a lot of really cool biological stuff that is going on and here there's another poop by Manji and it says he or she ate some something called Zybopuff. And basically this is how you discover things in this game. Now the question, the real question is, is this game fun? Now from a perspective of a teacher this would be great because it would definitely break, uh, break down the uh, monotony of a classroom and you know give students a chance to try something a little bit different. This is more, I think this would be better for a biology class where you'd be just basically exploring these concepts, maybe even in the beginning of the year, um, as part of the kind of uh, introduction to various topics, various ideas, and uh, have students maybe progress through their character. Um, let's just say once a week you would, you would sit down and everyone would play at the same time uh, and progress through the story and try to discover new things. Now, as a full-time game, I would probably not use this at all and for two reasons really reason one number one and that's the important reason is that it does have a very limited fun factor so this is really more of a 
let's just take science and math and put it in the game and then basically try to make it fun. But they kind of missed that part. They missed the fun part. I, I mean, yes, you do walk around and there's music and there's uh, nice looking characters and everything and a storyline, but it just it doesn't feel like it has this MMORPG feel to it. There's no uh, challenges. There's no um, uh, try to compete with others. There's, there's really very little in terms of actual fun factor. I forgot what I was supposed to give it to him. I'm not going to give him anything. I'll just walk around. Let's explore a little bit. Um, so yeah, it does lack a bit of fun factor from MMORPG games. And the second reason is really the fact that it is an MMORPG and it's on a public server. So even though it's meant for teachers and schools, it's still a public server, so there might be a bit of a privacy concern in there. Um, so you can't really make a private server with this. Uh, overall though, I'm kind of, I'm happy where this is going. I hope that they do continue developing this and maybe add a few more features just to make this a little bit more interesting because right now it does feel a little bit too static. There's really nothing going on except for you just kind of walking around exploring and questing. And a lot of these quests are kind of, they feel a little bit forced. They don't feel natural. I think uh, a lot of MMORPGs have developed a really unique style in that they actually make all the quests. Oh, that is a big wolf. What is that thing? Uh, a lot of, can I catch it? I want to catch it. Ha ha ha. That was too easy. See, that was too easy. That should have been challenging. There should have been a battle. There should have been something to make this a little bit more dynamic. Because right now it just feels like I can basically catch everything by clicking on it. Which is a bit of a... <laughs> it just makes it a little bit silly. Um, but I do like where this is going. I do hope that they not stop developing this and it does take off and become something much better. Um, I think it's definitely worth trying in your class. Just see if the students actually enjoy this. Uh, it does give them something different to try. It does give them something um, more... You know, more varied, more... Um, interactive <laughs> I'm just bored right now I'm just I'm just basically catching every single bird um, and and basically yeah I, I definitely think this is something that a teacher that is willing to try new things should try in their classroom I'm going to post a link for this game in the description below and since it's absolutely free and it does have quite a lot of support from awesome foundations I think you should give it a try especially if you're a biology teacher or possibly even a math teacher Anyway, thank you for watching, please subscribe, and game you later, bye bye.